Hey, what's good, not an on dream family? We back at it, episode 92 of the 99 Dream Journey. My name is Julian Talia Ferro, and you already know we're coming again with another weekly business update, lessons of the week, and topic for the day, which is negotiation. So for this episode, to get into it, I'll start with the quote of this week, and it goes, we all must suffer from one or two pains, the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. This is a quote from Jim Rohn. To me, it illuminates how we can either feel that pain in the moment right now as we strive for something, as we push for a goal, or we can look back 20, 30 years from now and say and think about what we could have done. And that is two clear options that we could take. And again, the quote goes, we must all suffer from one or two pains, the pain of discipline or the pain of regret from Jim Rohn. And now from my business update, last episode, I had stated how we were thinking about moving away from a software or application type product. And we were thinking about something more physical or a hardware product. And we have been able to actually make some initial type prototypes, some version one iterations of different ideas that we feel could be a an innovative improvement upon them. And the iterations were, were just something for us to get our eyes on something and get our hands to feel what this product could look like in the future. But Again, we haven't fully decided on where we want to go moving forward, but it has been a good brainstorming activity to see where we could go. And that's all I have for my business update. And now I can get into my lesson of the week, which is surrounding integrity and how we need to keep our integrity even when others don't. This is something that I have to keep in mind on a day-to-day -day basis and making sure that I don't take shortcuts and I don't try to cut corners that I can keep my integrity and I can keep my moral high ground because at the end of the day, when I go to bed at night and I think about what I did during the day, I know I'm not going to rest peacefully knowing that I cut corners. So again, this is a pretty simple lesson, but just to make sure that we keep our integrity even when others don't. And now I can get into my topic portion of the episode, which is around negotiation. So I feel like we all negotiate with ourselves every single day. And a lot of times it can almost be about each decision we make. So let's say, for example, I have a piece of cake in front of me and I'm deciding whether or not I want to take a bite. That's a negotiation between myself. And this negotiation leads us to decide whether we do something or whether we don't. But I found, thinking about it this past week, that some things just need to be non-negotiable. And when you make something non-negotiable, it cuts out all that mental activity of deciding whether or not to do something. And you close the door from the jump. From the beginning, the door doesn't even open. So let's say, for example, I do have that piece of cake in front of me. If I do negotiate with myself, then I found that because I know myself, I become the best salesman. Because I know myself, I can easily convince myself that I do need to take a bite of that piece of cake, even when I know that I shouldn't. So again, you got to close the door from the jump. And you can't even entertain the fact that you can negotiate with yourself. Your habits need to become non-negotiable. Your schedule needs to become non-negotiable. Your effort needs to become non-negotiable. In that way, it's automatic. And you don't have to have turmoil going on inside your head, whether or not to make a decision or whether you need to do something or whether you shouldn't. And... That's just something I want to talk about in this episode because I felt like it's been helpful for me making that small change in mindset of some things to be non-negotiable 
you know, cuts out all that effort and all that deciding of whether or not I need to do something or whether I shouldn't. And with those first or all three sections out the way, next steps for me are just to keep putting one foot in front of the other. And for me, my co-founder to figure out this pivot that we're in. And that's all I have for this episode. So, all right, let's get it, y'all. Going to achieve your 99 dream. And it's 99 dream because you are going to achieve your dream. And it will be 100%. But nobody, nothing is perfect. So, you're going to achieve 99% of that. And let's go and let's get it.